Despite rumors about Tesla Giga Texas, we do not see the 8,000 ton press, Giga Press installed uh, this time. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla breaking news. We talk about rumors and we tell you the truth. For example, today, Joe Tegmeier, who has been chronicling Tesla Giga Texas from day one and flying his drone, driving 180 miles uh, both ways to uh, fly his drone three times a week at Giga Texas has shared a new video and some images that you're seeing on your screen saying inside Giga Texas casting machine structure. I do not see a 8,000 ton press, I mean Giga Press, installed at this time despite rumors otherwise. In fact, yes, we do not see, but yesterday we heard a couple of days, or yesterday or day before, that Elon Musk said that the production has already started at Giga Texas and they're waiting for certification to start deliveries. Uh, Joe also shared some more images, saying some more images of Giga Texas on a busy Friday morning, the January 28, 2022 you can see his video which i will link from the description of this video he also said look inside casting structure in this video lots of new castings on south end concrete work is happening at giga texas new body in white roof work um, on the west side many entrance uh, main entrance windows many solar panels are installed on the northwest corner excavation work is happening so a lot of interesting things are happening at giga texas and regarding giga press giga presses are are a series of aluminum die casting machines manufactured by Idra or Idra Group in Italy. I believe it's a Japanese Italian company and uh, they are notable for being the largest high pressure die casting machines in the world with a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 uh, kilotons. Each machine weighs from 410 to 430 tons. You know, that's 900,000 to 950,000 pounds. It's like 1 million pounds each Gigapress. Base uh, specification Gigapress machines had been included in IDRA's catalog since 2018 with usage of customers uh, OL Gigapress started by Tesla in late 2020 for the production of chassis part of the Tesla Model Y. Uh, shots of molten aluminum weighing 80 kilograms are injected into the cold chamber casting mold with a velocity of 10 meters per six second. The cycle time is about 80 to 90 seconds. But now Joe Techmeyer says, um, despite rumors inside Giga Texas casting machine structure, which you're seeing, I do not see 8,000 ton press installed at this time, despite rumors. So what do you think about all of these friends? Let me know your thoughts. And uh, But I think maybe they, they may, may this may happen anytime soon. Tesla may have uh, uh, structured everything in right timing until the final certification from Giga Texas for Giga Texas comes. So let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. God bless you, everyone. Please subscribe to our channel uh, to dispel the rumors and tell you the truth about Texa, Tesla and uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Give us thumbs up. Like this video if this was helpful for you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla aims for a new Model Y deliveries from Giga Factory Texas by the end of the quarter. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from from torquenews.com. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric that Tesla aims to deliver a few Model Y vehicles from Gigafactory Texas by the end of this first quarter. It would be an important milestone for the automaker and its new factory in Austin, says Electric. The start of Gigafactory uh, Giga Texas's production uh, and subsequent ramp up at Gigafactory Texas um, uh, are two of Tesla's most most important milestones to achieve this year. I would also add Gigafactory Berlin. In recent weeks, we saw several indications that Tesla might be starting production at the factory with many new Model Y vehicles already spotted at the plant. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric now that Tesla is currently doing test production batches and it now aims for to have some Model Y vehicles ready for deliveries by the end of the quarter. If things go this way, I think March would be a time where we will see uh, deliveries from Giga Berlin and from Giga Texas. So Electric says by the end of March, the automaker should deliver a small number of Model Y SUVs built at Gigafactory 
Texas. I'm saying small number because you know it takes time to ramp up the production until they get used to how to build cars. This is a few months behind schedule, but it should still set Tesla up for a good ramp up to volume production during the second half of 2022. A source familiar with the matter also told Electric that Tesla is now ramping up the hiring of production associates at Gigafactory Austin, which is generally a sign that it is preparing for a production ramp. As we previously reported, friends, the start of Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas is not only critical to the company's growth, but it also marks the launch of a new version of the electric SUV featuring Tesla's new structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells, which are going to be more dense, more powerful, and are going to give Tesla more range, will probably give Tesla new specs. The idea is to produce large cylindrical cells and package them into a single module battery pack that also acts as a structural platform on which you install the vehicle's body. The CEO, um, of CEO Elon Musk of Tesla has touched the technology, has actually touted the technology as a manufacturing revolution in the auto industry. However, he also says that 4680 battery cell supply could be limited early in the Model Y production ramp and it could manufacture some vehicles with the 2170 cells until supply issues are resolved. Tesla now builds its cars with 2170 battery cells. It is going to be interesting to keep eye on this situation in the coming months. At the moment, we are still not aware of a way for Tesla Model Y buyers to know if their vehicles vehicles are going to come from the Fremont factory or if it will be in the new version with the Gigafactory Texas. Well, in the meantime, you guys can look at the VIN number. If it starts with A, that means it's made in Austin. And if it starts with F, that means it made it's made in um, Fremont. Now, I don't know the decoder of the Giga Berlin, how it's going to be, maybe GB, Giga, standing for Giga Berlin or just B. And um, if you guys are from China, and your Tesla is built in China, let me know how the VIN number starts. It's uh, S standing for Shanghai or something else. Well, friends, this is Armin Haryan uh, from Tesla, uh, actually from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage next time and have a wonderful day. Give us thumbs up, please, if you found this report helpful. Guys, see you soon in our next Tesla story. We have story. a breaking video from Gigafactory Texas, friends, this morning. Look at this video by Joe Techmeyer, which shows the second and third floors of Giga Texas and the sneak peek of how Tesla builds Model Ys at Giga Texas being assembled in the ground floor. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. So this morning, Joe Techmeyer, who regularly uh, brings videos from Giga Texas and chronicles everything with Giga Texas. I know Joe drives three times a week, 180 miles to, uh, both ways each time to bring us these videos to chronicle Giga, uh, Giga Texas. So this morning he has this video saying 19 January 2022 Giga Texas short video clip general assembly third and second floors and a sneak peek with multiple model Ys being assembled on the ground floor. Um, and he also says, see my YouTube video for the full 4,000 videos of this 4K video of this and other areas inside Giga Texas. I will have the link of Joe's video here, friends. But look at this. This is very interesting. You know, you will see the sneak peek of how Tesla actually builds model Y at uh, Giga Factory Texas. Someone asked Joe how many floors is in Giga Texas. He said more mostly too, and that's why you can see from uh, the videos that we have seen about Giga Texas and the construction, but he says about 60% third floors and about 15% four floors. And um, another person actually said, Joe, not only did you capture the Model Y's uh, assembly line, you also caught a first video, a first view of a real 4680 structural pack. You can tell us the seats are attached to it left side on the photo. and. Uh, 
so that looks very interesting you can see that in this video and another person say you know wow that's really cool seeing model wise produced at giga uh, texas in that in this way reminds me of Krispy Kreme stores where you can see the donuts making donut making process except on a much much bigger scale here at giga texas so this is really cool and very interesting what do you think friends i know the latest that we have uh, we we know that tesla has applied some paperwork about to be done and after that it should start the production of Giga Texas. Over a half a dozen new Tesla Model Y vehicles were recently spotted at Giga Factory Texas as production has been expected to start very soon. And these are these were probably the test vehicles. I've reported about that and you can about to see them. So this is Armin Hari. I'm from TorTunes.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla news announcements and give us thumbs up and like this video if you found it useful and helpful. Have a great day. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next Tesla story.